Anyways, guys, this is SD Sandy returns to the stream here, fighting up against Charlie. This is going to be quite the hurdle for him to fight, man. He did take out a couple PR wins at WNF, but taking taking PR wins at MSM is no easy feat. No, it is not. I mean, SDS has really been one of the players that like he's been on the come up. You talk about SoCal and ranked. He's kind. Of, he's been in that conversation now, especially this season. Yeah, he's always been good, but now he's like good, good. You know? Yeah. The thing about him too, he's always smoking to me, he's like, you know, he has to focus on school, yeah. so sometimes he can't go to too many tournaments, but he tells me he's always at home practicing that, and watching that's, vlogs. That's what I like to hear though, it's like, you know, you're putting your priorities where they should be, but you're still gaining your knowledge and still exactly. doing your best to improve with what you got. Watching VODs and watching your own VODs too as well, and still practicing as well. Also, that should be death. We actually didn't see the nair from Charlie, we saw a forward air, I'm not sure. Maybe he just messed that up or he actually wanted the forward air. Uh, but without a jump or an air dodge there, it looked like it was kind of a terrible spot to be Sandy. Oh, directional air dodge, but he's still able to come back for the up B. Probably right now not laying SDS off of the leg. Or a tilt. Oh, and like there's that. the nair, but he doesn't get it. Is he going to combo off that? I really wanted to see it. Alright, there's finally some points on the board for SDS. Yeah. The parry. Alright, down throw. Doesn't get an option. Looks for a rising fair, but Char or a rising up air rather, but Charlie staying grounded. Goes at the up tilt. Alright, not able to get another extended up air without the platform below him. Exactly, and I also see that the fact that Sandy wanted to go for a punish on Charlie's landing, but he missed the mark there, and with a good two frame, Charlie finishes off that stock. Nice. He uses the double jump to fake out the landing. Yeah, that's something I feel like spaces do a lot where they'll like land right in front of you because they're fast followers, but then they'll double jump mm. just before they touch the ground and you throw something out, you whiff, and then you get punished. Exactly, and that was well played from Charlie. Fights himself back to center stage. Why? He, no cross up. That's what Sandy thought he was going to have. Yeah, and Sandy's had these parries, but he hasn't had the punishers to go with them, unfortunately. Yeah. That was really good though. He thought he thought Charlie was gonna cross him up after the dash tech because Wolf's dash tech can do that. The problem is that the one time that Charlie didn't get the proper hit, Sandy was going to get across the board. The, well, at least the grab. Down throw. Gonna go for a back end. Yep. Yeah, and it, that'll be it. Forward throw. Charlie careful here. 149 down throw to the dash tech. Tries to immediately follow it up with a second one too. That can work for Wolf. I love the way that Charlie oh. fakes out the recovery here using the using the jump. That's something that Sandy isn't really used to, and definitely shows the level of caliber that Charlie has over Sandy. Yeah. The three stock to 149. Sandy rubbing the back of his neck, man. He felt the heat and the knowledge that Charlie has over him too as well. Yeah, Charlie was just all over. It. Yeah, most definitely. Looks like we got our work cut out for ourselves tonight, and especially Sandy does. Yeah, no, Charlie was just all over in that game. The combos, that's what you want to see from Charlie. Man. Yes. Especially, I love the Wolf Flash confirms. It's like a Twitter combo that you would see only on Twitter, but Charlie just knows when it confirms properly. Yeah, <laughs> like Charlie, he'll get those Twitter combos, but then he'll make them bracket combos. You know, yes. He, like, he, he evolves them to the next level. Exactly, and he, he puts the pressure on where you're like, oh, well, I... DI this wrong and he reacted to my wrong DI and got it. Yeah. Exactly. Or he'll DI this right and Charlie goes, oh, if you correct the DI, then fine. This will work instead. Yeah. And he's got the whole flow chart. Yeah. That was, that's probably one of my favorite things about Charlie as well. And every character he makes is always noticing what happens, what the proper follow up would be with the wrong DI and the right DI. And he forces that out of his opponents. He's like, okay, I'm going to force him to go for the wrong DI or the right DI. Nice. Using that second jump there, trying to fake, trying to probably go for a back end, didn't steal it out, come back on the stage, good parry to get the forward tilt, looking for that spacing to get the two frame. Yeah, okay. Alright, that's, oh uh, sorry, SDS actually pokes him with the fireball and then goes for the back or catches him jumping out of shield with that up smash, scooping. Gets that first stock. The 
Bear actually tries to follow up with the jab, but he's not gonna fire. A fair into an up air and another one just keeping the juggle on SDS. Pop him up, but already so much damage onto SDS. He's got to get a huge combo to bring this one back to even. Oh, throw. Nice. Looking for the back guy, too. Look at the way that he was able to handle where he said he might be going for after the up throw, too, as well. Right, down, down throw. throw. Up there. That could be big, but he doesn't get the fail. That's exactly what he needed to be looking for. Nice, he tries to go for the landing there, especially off the stage two as well. Alright, nice Dash Jack's gonna blow him up, gets this gets the first hit that sends him outward. It's still crazy to me that there's just uh, two hitboxes on it that both kill in opposite DI directions. Yeah. You DI that out on the early hit, you die. You DI that in on the late hit, you die. Like you gotta just be ready to react to it. That was a great snipe from SDS. <laughs> It's really good that Troy knows, like, okay, dash attack, dash attack, and then still go for a near to keep him off the ledge, too, as well. Yeah, and Charlie, even though he died kind of early in that fireball, he looks very much in command. Up smash, Ash Shield, gonna scoop up SDS once again. The range on that deceptively big. I like that. I, yeah, like that. I do, I do, because he does low profile when he goes well, for the up smash. That, but if he jumped forward, spot dodged, or rolled, I think that would have scooped all of them. Yeah. Uh, but SDS being confident, holding his shield. Oh. oh no, yeah. Dangerous. The hitbox where it actually spikes you and has the most knockback is at the end of Wolf's Flash. Not the initial start up here. Yeah, I feel like that's what Charlie wanted to get. Go oh, use the back. He, yeah. he read the Catches jump. Jumping. <laughs> because he was in disadvantage. 